Through point and away, this one should reach the boundary. It's slowing up as it approaches the rope, but it'll make it all right. Jaya Sarir off the mark with the boundary. Sri Lanka after the first over, seven without loss. Blown past Giles at point. That's a way for a second boundary for Jaya Sarir. And gone. He's gone there again. England learned from uh, Sri Lanka's tour of South Africa. That's the spot where Sanat Jaya Sarir gets out. That's a good catch by Craig White. England get the breakthrough. Sri Lanka, 18 for one. That was an off cutter and well played too. It smashed through the offside field. This one should go to the boundary for four. Boundaries are at a premium here today. That was a beautiful shot. Good use of the feet. That's beautifully timed. In the air and uh, just wide of that man who's feeling very, very square. Well, that's gone in the air, but it's found the gap between uh, Hick and Atherton. That's away for four. In the air and out. He's got it. The ploy has worked. He kept Sangakara quiet. And he's dismissed him. Sangakara goes for 58. Sri Lanka 110 now for two. That's nicely played. Just a little wide. Well, he's had a go at that one. That's a great shot. Will it go all the way? Oh, I think it was. I think it was all the way. Over the boundary, down a deep mid-wicket for six. Aravinda de Silva has started to turn it on. And away he goes again, down the ground, over the top of mid-on. That one's uh, just stopped a little bit, actually, as it hit the ground. Will it get there? Yes, it will. Ten runs in two balls. Down the track again. That'll be it. A very well-made Test Match 100 for Marvin Atapatu. That's his sixth. And he often goes on to make double centuries, a vital innings for Sri Lanka in the first innings of this uh, first test match. Putting uh, Sri Lanka in a commanding position, 237 for two. Certainly. There's that sweep again, and uh, did he get some bat on that? Because if he does, or if he had, this will be, uh, be his century. Back he comes for three. Aravinda making sure of it. Uh, let's have a look at it. Yes, it's four runs. So Aravinda de Silva has made his 19th Test match century. He's done it in fine style too. This has been a tremendous performance by him. Both at the same end. Aravinda's not going to get there this time. It was a close uh, shave yesterday when Aravinda dived for his ground and uh, got the benefit of the doubt from the TV replay umpire. What a good shot that is. Paddock to Jai Wardner. That'll bring him a half century. In good time too. What a fine player this young man looks. Well, that's fantastic work by Graham Thorpe. He's a big uh, supporter of Chelsea Football Club. In he comes, beats a man, chassis, this is close, this is close. He's gone. Brilliant piece of footwork. Flicks it away, this will be it. Adepato stops for one, back he comes for the two. That's a most magnificent double century. His fourth in Test match cricket, his first against England. He's made two against Zimbabwe, one against Pakistan. This is his first in Gaul. In fact, it's the first ever in Gaul. Tenth double century by a Sri Lankan Test cricketer. Wonderful performance. And don't expect him to be out there for too much longer now. Oh, and he's had a go at that one. This is coming down the ground. This could be out. This could be the end of the innings. Yes, nicely taken. That's the end of Chaminda Vos.
Cracking shot. Speeding away through uh, point. That'll give uh, Marcus Truscothic uh, plenty of heart. Happy to get uh, on the back foot there. Four more. This is poor quality stuff from Darmasina. In fact, it's absolute rubbish. A gully in place now for Truscothic. Plenty of time to get on the back foot and pull that away. That's a glorious shot. Another four. Perfect example. This field. Well, will it make it all the way to the boundary? I reckon it's just going to get there. Well timed. Well, they're asking the question. And still the finger stays down. 70 for no wicket. Be interesting to have another look at that one. The Sri Lankans aren't happy. It's a pretty sharp reflex effort at a uh, silly point. All the Sri Lankans thought a good reactions, good uh, dive away to his left. They didn't look in any doubt. Trescoffit again taking his time to settle. Here's Jaisaria. Full pitch, Aravinda's going to struggle to cut that one off. Another despairing dive, this time in the field. All to no avail. And at last, England break free. It's again wrapped on the bat and given out. Have a look. Pitched in line. And I reckon that's a pretty good decision. Uh, forward, it's pitched in line. So he would have gone on and hit the stumps. Everything was there, pitched in line, on leg stump, at the end, just half cocked. And uh, umpire Manuel having no hesitation. Like other than goes for 33, it's 83 for one. Oh, that's got to be close. That's got to be close. Yes, up goes the finger. That uh, spun back a long way. I want to see that replay again. He was wide of the crease. I know he played back. It spun back a long way. The question is, can the umpire be sure it was going to hit the stumps? Let's have another look at it. Well, look where this is pitched. Way, way outside uh, off stump. Is it going to turn uh, too much and miss leg stump? Has it hit him outside the line and he's playing a shot? Nasser Hussain didn't like it, but it doesn't matter because he's been given out. He's gone for three, and England are 93 for two. He's gone after that one. It's away through uh, mid-wicket. Oh, and he's picked up a boundary. That's a bonus. Well, the Sri Lankans are celebrating, and Thorpe's going to have to go because the umpire's finger's gone up. Another victim for Murali Duran. England in a spot of bother now, 117 for three. Always oh, uh, gone for that one, pitched outside off stump, right off the middle of the bat as well. That's nicely played, beautiful cover drive, what a shot. Well, that's almost up there with uh, as good a shot as we've seen throughout this test match. He's flicked that one away. Uppishly played. This is going to go down to the boundary at mid-wicket for four. This could take him on to 99. Yes, it's gone all the way. Loosest delivery there from uh, Mathai Moodley. So he's on 99 now. It could be argued that if he gets 99, it'll probably be remembered for longer than if he gets 100. Because uh, rest assured, this young man is going to score plenty of hundreds if he keeps playing the way he is now. Uh, Truscothic on 99. Never scored a test century. Short delivery, away on the offside, that's it. That's very, very well played. Marcus Toscopic has scored his maiden test century and he's done it in style. He has showed signs of a magnificent temperament here today in tough conditions. His first century for England, the first century on this ground by an Englishman and also the first century of the series. Very well played. That's, oh dear. Now, he's given that out. Now that has got to have pitched a 
considerable distance outside leg stump. Don't need to look at the tram lines here. He's over the wicket. Jaya Saraya, Alex Stewart, dumbfounded, disappointed. Don't know it doesn't. It's outside leg stump. It's a shocker. There's no other word for that. Oh, that's out. Caught behind, definitely caught behind, no doubt about that. Big deflection, Chaminda Vice, I was about to say, perhaps an off-spinner should be bowling well. He's got the big wicket. That was a magnificent delivery, perhaps a little bit tentative there by Triscothic. It's the end of a superb knock and a absolutely vital wicket for the Sri Lankans. And he's gone, he's been given out. Graham Hick uh, is insisting that uh, the bat hit the ground. He can't believe that he's been given out. There was a huge noise, but uh, Hick thinks he just hit the ground. But the Sri Lankans appealed, and up went the umpire's finger. So Graham Hick goes for just five. Magnificent shot. One of the best shots of the innings, that, from Craig White. Picking up the half volley very early in its flight and smashing it away through extra cover. Outside edge. Pretty straightforward catch. Yeah, Croft's uh, vigil, vigil is over. That's a full toss. And that might well be out. Yes, he's given him. That's unlucky. He took a little bit of time over that. Now, that was clearly a full toss, and uh, it looked to me for a second as if he had it covered. He was going to smash it through the field. It has obviously hit the fieldsman and gone straight up in the air. He took some time over it. When I say it hit the fieldsman, went straight up. I hope it uh, wasn't on the half volley. It'll be worthwhile having a look at this uh, slow motion replay just to establish that it did uh, go straight up off the fieldsman. Now, obviously, if it hit uh, any protection, crash helmet type protection, then um, it can't be caught. But uh, I don't think that's the case here. Let's have a look. Full toss. And uh, it's obviously driven into either the shins or the boot of the batsman and up into the air. And that's nicely taken. Craig White, gone for 25. 253 now for eight. Oh, that's beautifully taken, magnificently taken. And uh, he's going to walk. The umpire doesn't have to give him out there. I'm not too sure he would have. He was uh, holding on to his decision, and uh, Caddick has clearly hit that one. It is a lovely catch taken nicely by Joe Widener. Very, very low, and he's picked it up beautifully. So uh, Caddick, unfortunately, hasn't lasted very long. No, Andrew Caddick has a real stab at this. It's a fantastic catch. Low to uh, Jai Warden's left. So Caddick departs for a duck, and uh, England in uh, grave danger of following on here. They need uh, another 18 runs with just one wicket left. And the end of Caddick after a duck, 253 for nine. Back in, back in. Oh, yes, there's bat there as well. There was certainly a double noise. Not out, says the umpire, and uh, I've got to tell you, I don't blame him at all, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Sri Lankans have lost all credibility with the umpires in respect of bat pads, because they've absolutely shut it for everything. Let's have a look where the bat is here. Well, even if it did hit the bat, I've got to say that uh, they don't deserve to get uh, those sorts of catches, because they've just overdone it. Oh, what a catch! Unbelievable catch! My goodness, that is an absolute gem! magnificently caught once again to the left hand boy this is unbelievable two magnificent catches to finish off the innings and up goes uh, Jai Surya's hand and uh, he's looking for instructions from uh, the dressing room there as, uh, reaction was bowl again That's very nicely timed indeed by Trescothic. It's a lovely shot. That's probably the shot of the inning so far from Marcus Trescothic. Bit of width there from Murilithran and uh, Trescothic latched onto it. 
and he's going to pick up four. Just I think on body nine. He played away on the onside. He's got his single, and that's the half century. Very well played. Not only has he got himself 100 in the first innings, but here he is now in the second innings, continuing his good work. And uh, it's not surprising that everyone that's here from England is enjoying every second of this. Another full toss, big gap there. This will be another Trescothic boundary. That's his sixth four. He moves on to 57. He's been given out. Trescothic is on his way. It's not going to be 200 for him after all. And once again, Jayasuri is the man who takes the wicket. It's a great effort by Marcus Trescothic, though. A century in the first innings and a half century in the second innings. But now Sri Lanka will think they've got a chance. They've got that initial breakthrough. They'll be looking for more blood now. He's given him. Sane's gone again, he's playing uh, forward, but he's been given out. One needs to have a closer look at that. Hussein not quite happy, but he didn't play a shot. I can't believe he's got a, another dodgy decision. There have been a lot better shouts than that, but uh, it's all history now. Hussein has gone, LBW to Murali for one. And England, 105 for two. Good shot. Worked away wide of mid-on. Right up on his toes. Fielders have uh, given up the chase. Mike Allerton gets uh, his first boundary. Well, has that carried? He's been given. Atherton wasn't sure, he stayed for the decision, but Vass has accounted for Atherton again. That's the worst possible start for England. Their barnacle opening batsman has gone in just the second over of the day. England won 21 for three. Oh! Got to be close, gone. Graham Thorpe has got to go. The finger's gone up. He's hanging around. He's been given out LBW. Just wonder whether Thorpe thought he got an inside edge or whether it was going down the leg side. It's a quicker ball from Darmasina and Graham Thorpe has gone now. Tom was pushed right back onto his stumps. One has to have a close look at that and see how much uh, Darmasena did on that. Yeah. Beautifully placed. Don't often see uh, Murali uh, hit away for four through that area. Ah, yeah. Graham Hicks uh, walked. Uh, There's a brilliant piece of work in the slips. Graham Hicks misses out again. He's gone for just uh, six runs this time. Appeals. That's umpire unmoved. I have to say, fielders, the Shrangan fielders are probably their own worst enemies with their appealing. Just wonder if they've lost one here. Craig White waiting for the decision, stood his ground. Bat pad very close together. Celebrations immediately. Oh. oh dear, well, I have to say, another interesting decision. Do we need to see it again? Umpire Jaya Prakash, a judging Craig White, LBW, gets his front foot way down, ball of full length, tram lines are in, does he get outside the line playing a shot? Can't be out if he's playing a shot outside the line of the wickets. He's playing a shot. That is shocking. There is no other word for it. That is a set of stumps outside. I mean, that cannot be out. Craig White adjudged LBW for three. It's 176 for six. Oh, oh, well 
bowled him round his legs. Not quite sure why Andy Caddick still stood there. Pitched in the rough and uh, hit leg stump. It's terrific bowling again. When you create the angle from left arm round the wicket, ball a ball of full length. He's ball far and got this. He is a sweeper, Andrew Caddick. Gets the ball full, Jayasir here. Spins it round the back end of Andrew Caddick. It just clips leg stump. I think this is super bowling. He's created the angle. He likes to sweep. The bail's just dropped. It's only just clipped the leg stump. Andrew Caddick stands there in disbelief, but it did bowl him. That's the seventh wicket gone. 182 for seven. Well, that hit the back leg. And I have to say, the reaction was that looked pretty adjacent. Well, I had the microphone to my mouth there, and as soon as that ball hit Ashley Giles, I went, ooh, and it was on its way, the finger absolutely stone dead. Wicket's falling thick and fast now. The bell's tolling for England. There's no doubt whatsoever about that one. Back leg. Big shout and gone. Croft looking to tuck the ball into the leg side. Didn't make any contact. And he's the, the latest LBW victim. One suspect that Croft uh, went across his stump quite a bit and uh, was again right behind, adjacent to the stumps. There you are. Just hitting on off stump. And uh, inside edge. But it is so frustrating for uh, the players. Alex Stewart shaking his head during that interval. And uh, Darren Goff is bold neck and crop to bring this test match to an end. Sky Sports Cricket. Feel it for